web conferencing or video conferencing. There are various options available to choose from. The best way to choose any technology to implement is to use the Gartner Quadrant. If you see the Gartner Quadrants for the web meeting in 2019, the top three were Cisco, Microsoft and Zoom. All these three options are most popular options in the world these days. Slightly change in the features, but considering user experience, all three are the best options to choose from. Here is a price comparison of the Cisco WebEx. And then there is a price comparison of Microsoft. And here is an option for Zoom. For this particular tutorial, I'll be using Zoom. The reason of choosing Zoom is that this is the easiest platform I have ever seen. I have been using this for six years and I am really satisfied with this because of the video quality, the audio quality and the ease of use, then the features which are available. So now I'll be choosing Zoom. So you can see there are various price options in Zoom. Uh, the best thing here is that we can have the free account where we can have web meeting with one to three participants for unlimited time but if you want to have more than three participants so you will have 40 minutes of the video conferencing and the video conferencing will, will end there and then you can start a new video conferencing and share the link of uh, url of the meeting you can create your zoom id within few clicks you can use your google id or facebook i would recommend to use your official email id to create the account so I'm using here my Google ID. So if you are using Google apps for business, it will be great because on a single click, you can create your user ID. Okay, I'm now creating my user ID here. So I have chosen my business email. Click here, that's it. You're done, your user ID is created now. Now we will log into the portal to the, and now you can schedule the meeting. These are all the options, various options available, but I won't go into details. You can explore it by yourself. You can set up a meeting or schedule a meeting for a specific date or time. And then once the meeting is created, you can share the meeting URL with the users. So I can either share the details with users using my email so I can compose a new email and paste the meeting here, type the subject and voila, it's done. Or you can send the link via WhatsApp message or through SMS. So I can send the message through WhatsApp and the meeting link will be sent to the user. Okay, so user can have the smartphone and through smartphone he can access the meeting and tap the meeting and then the application will be load it. If the user has already created his account, so he can log in with his account or he can create an account the way I have explained in steps. As a host, you can restrict the user, you can mute them, you can stop their video. As a host, you can also record the session of the meeting. You can screen, do the screen share, for example, if you are giving a presentation or if you want to share some report with the users. So you can share a specific application even or a specific screen. There are various features available. You can explore them and take the benefit of this. The purpose of this video is to help everyone who have not yet exposure to the technology. Whether you want to have a meeting with your, with your customer or with your supplier or with your employees or with your team members, or if you want to conduct a training online, or if you are a teacher and want to communicate with your students, or if you are a student and want to communicate with your teacher or other fellows, Zoom is my choice. There are other options like gotomeeting.com and various other tools available. Hope this video has helped you. Take care. Goodbye.